This video is sponsored by The Scrapping Cottage, where cottage cuts are always blooming. Hi everybody, it's Janet with Sugar Shine Designs and today I'm here with a very short video to show you how I made five springy fruit themed thank you cards using two of the new dies from the spring stitched collection from Cottage Cuts. Here you can see they're stitching around the thanks and also around the fruit or this apple and I've highlighted the stitching using some white jelly roll pen at least on the fruit. I did not do that on the thanks. Um, but let's look at the other ones. In this set I also have a lemon and this is really cute because it has the slice of lemon as well. And then here are the cherries. They are very cute. Two little cherries on a stem with a leaf. And then next we have a pear. Good sized pear here with a leaf as well. And I cut all of these out in white and then used my spectrum marker to color them. Here is the fifth one I'm going to use to show you how I made these cards. And this has some black jelly roll pen and some white jelly roll pen. The black is for the seeds, the white again outlining the stitching in the die itself just to highlight it a little bit more. And here you can see the thanks which I cut out of textured cardstock and I thought that was bold enough. So I'm going to show you how I use this to create the card that you see here. Alright, so what dies do we use to make these? First it's the stitched fruit die that I mentioned earlier and there's five of them on here that I showed you just now. And here's where I want to point out that this is a little deceiving sometimes. This package is not that big and you think, oh these fruits must be teeny. But really they're not. You really need to pay attention to what it says on the packaging and on the store for their sizes because these are decent sized fruits and they can be used as features of a card just like I used here. Now the alphabet is called Stitched Alphabet and it's a one, one die that, that punches out all of the the letters at once. So you can uh, do this in white and color them with markers or pencils or you can cut them out in colored paper as I did here to put on your projects. They're one inch tall and they're really cute and I enjoy using these. Now the circle I used is one of my favorites. It's the nested wacky stitched circle set and that went right here. All I did was cut about three eighths of an inch off the edge so that I could uh, kind of create an off-center sort of circle here against the border. And then you'll see I did two kinds of border. I put the red border on the right and one on the left just to kind of see if it would make any difference. Just makes them a little different really and adds a little more interest to the set. So I did three on one side and two on the other side. Alright, let me show you how I created these cards showing you the fifth one using the strawberry. So all these cards are a five and a half by four and a quarter size and what I did was I started with making just the mats and putting all the mats together before I put it all on the actual card base itself. Now I used some red paper which I then uh, embossed. I cut some strips of green and then I trimmed that circle off to make sort of that cut off circle look and just butt everything against each other. A tip I'll give you here for keeping your letters straight is that I lay them out and glue every other one then I go back and glue every other one that's left. And this seems to stop me from having them go up or down into a crooked line. So maybe that will work for you. I also use this foam mounting tape and it comes from the Dollar Tree so you can use a lot of it and it's still very reasonable. So there's my finished card using the strawberry. And here are the three again with the pear, the lemons, and the uh, apple. And you can find the directions for all the sizes and the different supplies that I used at the very end of this video. And here are the last two cards with the strawberry and the cherries. Well, I hope you head on over to scrappingcottage.com and take a look at these dies along with the others in the new In Stitches collection as well as the Spring collection for 2018. I will see you soon. Thanks for joining me. Until I see you again, I hope you keep crafting. Bye.